Hi, my name is Dan Martin, and I'm the Director of Instruction at Rustic Canyon Golf Course in Moorpark, California, and the owner of the Golf Academy of Ventura County. One of the most interesting things I've noticed about golfers is that they tend to develop a chronic ball flight pattern, whether it be a slice or a hook, but yet they don't seem to know much about it. So they seem to stay with it and it gets stuck and it becomes a part of it. And then the culture of a golf is all about trying to fix it. Well, I say, let's not go down the fixing road. Let's do what really good players do. Let's develop some stuff. Let's develop some critical skills that will allow you to understand your slice or your hook so you can then manage and learn how to, to hit better and straighter golf shots. So I'm going to show you a very simple exercise that you can do to, to demonstrate to understand how a club face works so you can understand whether you're slicing or hooking it. Okay? So first off, I'm going to have you hit three shots set up to a specific target, maybe about 20 feet in front of you. And what I actually want you to do is I want you to hit it to the right on purpose. But don't do it by just opening your club face, but I want you to do it during your swing. Make a mistake on purpose. Understand it. So I'm going to set up and aim right at that cone, but when I make my swing, I'm not going to let the club face turn over. I'm going to hold it open. I'm going to make it go to the right so I understand what it feels like to hit a slice. Then, after doing that for two or three shots, I want you to do the opposite. I want you to embrace making the ball go left. So to make a ball go left, the club needs to close down prior to impact. So simply again, aim at your target and then hit it to the left. Close the club face early. For a lot of you slicers, you're gonna notice when you try to do this, it's not gonna go left, it's gonna go straight. But that's part of learning, learning and developing a golf swing and directional control. So again, one more time, a hooking shot here. And then after you've done that four or five times, then try to find the middle ground. What does it feel like to not interfere and open the club or force it and hook the club? And just simply, can you allow the golf club to come back to a, a straight position? And try that for four or five shots. And re keep repeating the process and do it with all your different golf clubs. Start with wedges all the way up to your driver. If you practice and learn how to manipulate the golf club, you're going to start to really understand what does cause hooks and slices. And once you understand and you feel it, you're not going to fear it because you're going to understand how to actually fix it. If you'd like to learn more about my coaching or any other programs that we offer, please visit golfacademyvc.com.